so I thought I'd get a video of a new diorama that I've been making. Um, so here it is. Uh, it's four foot by three foot. Very nice. It has those metal legs on it, and uh, very sturdy. It's really lightweight. What I did is I styrofoam the whole base, uh, and then I left about a little lip, as you can see, all the way around, and it looks very nice. So basically, what the whole idea is, there's a long road here, a long road, and underneath this, I've dug in trenches, and I know where they're at, and I can dig it all up. I'm gonna have trenching on this. Um, then, as you can just see, over here. There's a house, water tower, another house. Here's a picture of the house. There's like a somewhat of a silt fence. Then I just have construction fence, but there's a little house there. 150 or 148 scale. I just have a 365 bucket there. I just thought it looked cool. Um, but it's large, like landing area here. I'm not sure. I think I might do some grading here, like with a uh, scraper or something or something cool here. And I'll probably have a yard over on this end for the trenching. Here's just a retaining wall, our limestone. They have some leftover rocks there. It's kind of a built up plateau part. Not sure. And then here, this area is stoned in. There's another house here, and there's a, uh, like I said, the water tower. Both 148 scale, which is pretty close to 150th. There's just a Lee Bear 954 waiting to demolish, demolish the uh, water tower. And what I'm going to have done is probably is have, I have some other demolition models I just ordered. But I'm going to probably get this house, and that, uh, those are going to be getting knocked down somewhat. And then there's going to be trenching here, trenching here, uh, demolition over there. And I thought I'd like to have grading here. That'd be pretty cool, I think. So that's that. And then I just have, just to show you real quick, just a uh, 330 uh, forestry excavator with a grapple. My uh, Mac, ASAM Mac R600, beautiful model. Favorite in my collection, probably. And just one of those... uh black North Scott trailers. Well, it doesn't look that bad. It's a lot cheaper than a ASAM. There it is. Got the hydraulic detail. Cab. Very nice. So yes, uh, thank you for looking and watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to have some sweet dial pictures and all that. So uh, thanks for watching.